What's up, YouTube? Um, gonna do another electrical um, video, and this is gonna be more toward the safety uh, aspect of it. Um, when I was an electrician, we used these. This is a, called a volt pan. This one's by Fluke, who makes uh, most most of the uh, electrical sensing equipment that we used in the electrical field for our house and uh, commercial wiring. So uh, there's you can get these at Home Depot, uh, any hardware store. Um, I get the Flukes Volt Alert uh, because I've always relied on them. And one of the, another safety thing with these is get one that has an audible um, tone when you turn it off on and when it's sensing current uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first one, uh, when these first came out, when I first started doing electrical work, they didn't have the tone on them. So um, they would just blink red or turn red. And if there was no power present, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't, uh, the light wouldn't come on, the red light. Well, since it didn't have a tone, you never knew when the batteries were dead in these things. So you could use it one day and it worked fine, then go to work the next day and plug it into an outlet and think that the power's, uh, that you've killed the power to that outlet. And that wouldn't be the case if the battery was dead in this. So this one flashes and it beeps. And then it has a flash every couple seconds. And we'll turn the camera around to this outlet right here and I'll show you how this works. All right. So if you remember my other video, my first video I did, I told you about the, the wide blades on the prongs and the narrow blade. Well, if you look at an outlet, you have a wide side and a narrow side. So the slot's bigger. Sorry, I'm trying to do this. Okay. The slot's bigger. So this is your neutral side. This is your hot side. And it's very important you hook your outlets up properly that way. You don't reverse the polarity because some equipment is sensitive to polarity. So if you had these flipped and you plugged in uh, something that was sensitive to that, it could blow it, uh, fry it. So again, here's the pin. And I know it's working because it's flashing. So if I plug it into the neutral side, nothing. It just flashes. But if I plug it into the hot side, you can hear it and see it. Neutral, nothing, hot. These, uh, you can get ones that aren't fluke for, you know, 10, 15 bucks, sometimes cheaper. These run about 20, 25 dollars. Um, but when it's a matter of being electrocuted or not being electrocuted, I'd rather spend the 20, 25 bucks. And this also tells you if there's current in the wire. So this one's plugged in and if I unplug it, you can, oh, there we go. You see nothing. And then we'll plug it back in. And this also tell you where there's a break in the wire, or pretty close. You got to be on the hot side. There's no breaks in this wire, but so definitely worth an investment of a volt pen or uh, the volt alert. You know, any, anything that tells you there's current. Now, on the subject of safety, real quick, never plug in a radio. To your outlet and go to the breaker panel unless you've wired this yourself um, and we're going to assume that you didn't you a lot of people like to plug radios in and then go hit the breaker and they turn them off and they assume that all the outlets in the room are dead and all the lights in the room are dead and there's no current in that room um, that's not always the case because half your outlets could be wired to one breaker the other half of your outlets in that room could be wired to another breaker so you could you would plug it into this one listen for the radio turn it off 
and think that all the power in that room's uh, been shut off and that might not be the case. And another thing while we're in here, um, never assume also that when you turn this light switch off and that light goes out, that it's safe to work on this light fixture because uh, especially in older homes, the older electricians, um, we're talking back in the 50s and 60s, uh, what they used to do is run from the panel, from the electrical panel to the light and do what they call drop switching. So they would go from here to the, you know, back to the uh, light switch. So even if you turned off the light switch and this light went out, you still have current up in this box. So that's not a good indicator that this is safe to work on just because you've turned the switch off and um, that now you think there's no current. And if, if a house is properly wired to today's standards, yes, you can turn the switch off and that light, every wire in that box would be dead. But if somebody's added on to this or it's an old, like I said, an older home or the electrician just decided to do a drop switch scenario in here, um, there's still current in that box. And this is from experience of me getting electrocuted by or shocked by a light and also electrocuted or shocked by an outlet. That's where this comes in. When in doubt, whip this out and uh, okay, I got the light off, but I'm still going to pop this in that box and touch every wire in that box and make sure this doesn't indicate current in there and same as in an outlet. So anyway, uh, that's my tip. Get one of these if you're going to do any electrical work around your house. Um, they even make these for low voltage, 12 and 24 volt. Uh, I have some lo a low volt pin as well. Uh, so when you're doing transformers, you can tell the power into a transformer is good and the power out of the transformer is good. Also, uh, with that said, just because you have power uh, to like a light fixture or something on the black which is in a house is the hot wire and this lights up and says you have power and your light fixture is still not working the first thing to check would be the neutral wire because you can still have current going on one wire and that lamp won't work unless the negative the neutral wire is hooked up uh, same with outlets you plug this in. Oh shoot, I got power. Why isn't this working? I would check the other side and make sure that neutral wire is still attached to that outlet first. That's the easiest thing instead of getting rid of the lamp or the the device that, that isn't operating off that outlet. And that happens. I mean, current vibrates. So uh, after periods of time, uh, wire nuts can vibrate loose and the wire could pop off. Uh, or the screw could back out if it's not super tight on the, and this just shut off. Um, if the screw's not super tight holding the wire into the outlet, that vibration can back that screw out and that wire can pop off. Um, so that's, it's good to have this, but it's also good to know that this is something to check if that a piece of equipment still isn't working after you've detected current in that outlet or in that light fixture, check the white wire. In the house, it's the white wire, the neutral wire. Um, should be under that wire net or attached to the outlet. And that's called a dropped neutral. Um, so anyway, those are my tips. This can uh, save you a lot of time, hassle, and the pain of getting electrocuted. Um, and like I said, get one with a tone, because the ones with that just flash, uh, they're okay. We used to test them before on, on a known hot source before we use them. But uh, again, I got electrocuted by pulling it out and putting it in a an outlet, thinking, oh, okay, it's dead. So my my buddy over there that I'm working with shut the power off and grabbed that outlet, and that wasn't the case. So anyway. 
that's it thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe get a volt pan i do recommend fluke they make the in my opinion greenly and fluke make the best uh electrical sensing equipment uh, tools for the job thanks for watching rate comment subscribe we'll see you